Hello, and welcome to another episode of Piano Basics. I am your host, Jonah, and today we will be talking about keys on the piano and how to actually find them and actually naming notes. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off in, in music in general, um, there are seven natural notes and they are given letter names. So the first one is A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and then it repeats to A. And um, I'm gonna get into accidentals in another segment, um, and accidentals are the black keys, so it's sharps and flats, and also naturals um, when you start writing music in sheet music. So yeah, so there's seven notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G before it starts repeating. And the way to identify it on a piano is there's the pattern of the piano where it's two black keys, three black keys, two, three, two, three, all the way throughout the piano. And on every pattern of the two keys, the key to the left is C. And in this case, this is middle C, which is just the mid range of the whole piano um, with octave wise. So you get lower and then as you work your way up, you get higher in pitch. But yeah, anytime you see two black keys, the one to the left is middle C. And so C, C and C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Pretty simple way to kind of get familiar with the notes on a piano. Okay, so that concludes this episode. Um, like I said, the main takeaways are how to identify the key of C on a piano and also how to name notes. They're named A, B, C, D, E, F, and G and before it starts repeating itself. So... Uh, pretty simple. Uh, if you want to go into more depth, I highly recommend checking out Alfred's group piano for adults. It's it's very basic. It starts from literally naming keys all the way to sight reading and stuff like that. There's a bunch of good exercise in here. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below um, so you could go check that out. And also in the next episode, I'll be covering... Uh, accidentals so sharps flats and natural notes and how to actually identify them on the keyboard as well so hope you enjoyed that and i look forward to seeing you at the next episode